Today, Russia lost 17 tanks and 24 armored personnel vehicles APD, in a day as Ukrainian defense forces carried out their long-awaited counteroffensive, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. In an update posted to Facebook early Sunday morning, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine wrote that Russia lost a total of 3,926 tanks since the war began last February. The update also said that Russian President Vladimir Putin's military lost a total of 7,631 APVs, 3,736 artillery systems, and 215,640 soldiers, with 980 dying in one day. Ukrainian forces have destroyed at least two of Russia's highly destructive, but scarce, thermobaric launchers in the past few days using Western weapons, according to a new assessment. Ukraine's military have destroyed a pair of Russia's TOS-1 at thermobaric artillery systems in the southern Ukrainian Zaporizhia region during counteroffensive operations, according to geolocated footage. The Institute for the Study of War (ISW) said on Saturday. Russia has lauded the performance of the TOS-1A systems, which it has been using since the early days of the war in Ukraine. It has previously called the TOS-1A, which it designates a heavy flamethrower, a formidable weapon. The thermobaric launchers are highly destructive, but scarce artillery assets, the IS-2 added. The loss it has come as Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine drags on as the war extended to major Ukrainian cities, including Kyiv, Kherson, Odessa, and Bakhmut, where troops from both sides fought for months. Putin was confident that his country would achieve its goals, but was met with stronger-than-expected defense efforts, which were mainly bolstered by the West. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed on Saturday that his country's counteroffensive began after several months of preparations, with the help of Western countries sending tanks, heavy artillery, and advanced military equipment, among other defense options. Despite the reported Russian losses, Putin recently said that Ukrainian forces were unsuccessful with their defensive actions on the front line because of Russian weapons quality and proper command, Russian news agency TASS reported Saturday. Ukraine's military destroyed at least two Russian TOS-1A thermobaric launchers over the past few days, according to a Saturday assessment by the Institute for the Study of War ISDOE. The thermobaric launchers are highly destructive, but scarce artillery assets, according to the US-based think tank. Russia praised the performance of the TOS-1A systems, which were used since the early days of the war in Ukraine. The country previously called the TOS-1A which it designates a heavy flamethrower, a formidable weapon. <laughs> Meanwhile, the defense forces of the Tavria direction destroyed more than four enemy companies and 59 units of enemy equipment. That's according to General Oleksandr Tarnowski, commander of the Tavria Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops, Ukraine Forum reports. On the Tavria axis, our defense forces continue their advance. Over the last day, the enemy's losses, in terms of soldiers killed and wounded, amounted to more than four companies. 59 units of Russia's military equipment were either destroyed or damaged, Tarnowski reported.